Hey everyone, my name is Brianna Wilson. I'm the founder and occupational therapist behind Freedom and Function, located in Austin, Texas, where I work with adults and seniors post-stroke in the comfort of their homes, helping them reach their goals and get back to living. So in this video, I want to show you a one-handed strategy to put on a pullover shirt, as well as take it off. So let's get started. Okay. So we're going to start with a pullover shirt. And so I'm using a polo because it's the brightest shirt that I have. So there will be some contrast between what I'm wearing and the shirt that I'm putting on. And this is our you know, logo polo. And some things to keep in mind is that females usually have a little bit harder of a time putting on a shirt just because of the hair. And if a guy has longer hair too, it becomes an issue. So if you can, try to put your hair up some type of way. I've put my hair up as best as I can, but I have a feeling it's still gonna create a problem. So you wanna try to get it as flat and out of the way as possible. So that when you're pulling the shirt over your head, there's less hair that's in the way that you're pulling on or it's getting stuck on, okay? So anyways, what we're gonna do is first put our affected arm into our lap if possible, okay? And then we're going to take the shirt and locate the tag, and we're going to put that side face down. And it doesn't have to be perfect, you just wanna make sure that it's the right side, okay? So it's not inside out and that the left side is separated from the right side, okay? So you're going to take your unaffected arm and you're going to put it through the opposite armhole. Now this is a little bit opposite of how you normally would do it. Normally we go through the bottom of the shirt through the armhole, but we're actually going through the armhole to the bottom of the shirt with our unaffected hand, okay? So I'm gonna reach to the opposite armhole and I'm going to thread my arm and hand through it until I meet the bottom of the shirt. And so you should have the arm sleeve and the bottom of your shirt in your hand, okay? Then you're going to take it and thread your affected hand and arm through. So we're kind of using this motion here to get it on and then we'll pull, okay? So we're going to just push it on, push it on, push it on, okay? Make sure that shirt stays face down. So if you have to turn it a little bit, that's fine. And you wanna try to get it above the elbow, but if you can't get it above the elbow right away, don't worry about it, we can fix it. Okay, so once you've gotten up as far as you can, you're going to, if you can, take your unaffected arm and just move it out the way. And it doesn't have to be extreme. If you can just move it a little bit, that's fine. But if you can move it all the way out the way, that's better. Then you're gonna take the bottom of the shirt, see this is still the bottom of the shirt, and you're going to put your hand through the correct armhole, okay? So it's gonna be the same side armhole. See? And then what we're going to do is we're going to try to move it up and move it up. You can kind of do teamwork to slowly move it up and move it up. This way sometimes works a little bit better than just trying to stretch it, especially depending on the kind of shirt that you have. It can hurt your shoulder. If your shirt's not very stretchy, that can cause an issue too because it's just not going to go. And so if you can work one side up and then the next, that usually works a little bit better, okay? So you basically want to work it all the way up until it's at your throat. And for practicing purposes, if you want to use a shirt that's about a size up from what you normally would wear, that's probably better, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to take the collar of the shirt and you're going to push it up until it meets the bottom of the shirt. And so the collar and the bottom of the shirt should be between the web space of your thumb and your index finger, okay? And so at this point, the shirt should be over the shoulders as much as it can be, and you're scooping up the collar to meet the back of the shirt, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tuck your chin and lean forward, 
and you're going to pull it over your head and you're going to work it kind of back and forth until it's over. Now, what you want to do is take the front of the shirt and push it back first because that'll allow anything that's caught in the back to kind of start working its way down and then you can pull down in the front okay, and then down in the back. Now, depending on where you're sitting, you might be able to move your arm completely out of the way to allow for some space between here and there, or you can be maybe pretty tight, and so you'll have to squeeze your hand between it and around it to pull it down, just like that. So that's how you would get on a shirt. And then I'll show you how to do one-handed buttoning either at the end of this video or in a separate video, okay? Now, when it comes to taking off the shirt, what you wanna do is pull it up first as high as you can. Again, hair, if you can put it away some type of way so that it's flat and out of the way, that's gonna be better. So I'm going to turn around just so you can see what I'm doing. So once you get it all the way up, you're going to pull the collar and the back of the shirt up. Okay, again, until it's between that web space of your thumb and index. So hopefully you guys can see that. So then what you're gonna do, again, is lean forward and you're gonna tuck your chin and you're gonna move it back over. And you notice I kind of do this kind of motion and it's just to kind of help clear my head, especially when you have hair or things in the way to kind of clear the head. And then you can start pulling it down. I like to pull it down over the affected side first, at least until it's over the elbow, because then this side will come off a little bit easier and you can put your hand on your knee and you can just shake it down, especially depending on the size of the shirt. And then you can take off the rest. And there you go.